right, so uh, we're also going to do a quick video of hard drive installation. Um, I've already gone through this. Um, I've got my lady doing hers right now, so I'm going to record it. So as you see, you know, this is the back. There's four screws. Uh, no big deal. But when you take the back cover off, which you'll see in a moment, it is a bit curious. So as you see, you got, you know, some screw holes right there and you see right there you got a cavity and you got that cable that's it so those four screw holes that you saw on the back cover that's where you mount the drive to and then you plug that cable into the drive now luckily I happen to have a kit that comes with a uh, uh, like a docking bay, like a sliding docking bay kit. So we're going to take the the brackets off the side of it and the screws that are holding that bracket on, we're going to use those to screw to the back of the door. And then we just need to plug the cable in and that's pretty much it. So if you've got a drive that you're going to use, um, number one, it needs to be 2.5. It can be you know SSD it can be you know regular you know hard platter but make sure that you've got screws that will mount to the side or else you're not going to be able to secure this into the machine um, so yeah that's basically it um, a lot of drives won't necessarily come with a mounting kit so if you again just you know whatever you bought just make sure you got if it, if it came with a mounting kit um, the kit may be separate it may be attached just make sure you got four screw four additional screws with your hard drive so that you can mount it to the back of the cover Also, you're going to want to basically have the the end of the hard drive, the, the end that has the receptacle for the cable to plug in. You want it um, pointing downward as the cable that's in there is kind of kind of pre-curled from manufacturing, and it will fit. Um, it'll fit a lot better when you go to close it up. So you can see the cable does support power. And you want to do be your best not to really touch anything on the inside. Um, good computer etiquette is also to ground yourself beforehand. That means um, you can do some easy stuff by just simply um, touching the chassis of the MPC because it is aluminum. Um, there's also a grounding uh, connection here for uh, turntables. You can touch that and ground yourself as well. So pretty easy, but you just want to make sure you are prepared. Um, I've got a 
Um, I got a drive that I was planning to use that did not come with any kind of mounting bracket and I thought I was going to have to run out to a CompUSA or Micro Center or Fry's to get some, uh, some screws that would mount the side of a hard drive but um, I kind of looked out and remembered I had another kit available. And it's a good thing that doing this does not void the warranty. Akai has said publicly that um, owners can do this and it should not be any, any sort of uh, warranty voiding or um, non-ease of use, so that's another plus. And as you see, because you're adding this, you're not changing anything about the built-in storage. All right, so we've got the little cable here. We've got the connector there. Plug it in. Maybe a little tight, and that's on purpose so it can snap in good. Just make sure it's in there firm and again you want to make sure that cable's pointing down and just kind of work it in there be gentle but you know don't be scared uh, because the cable is stiff um, it may want to push the door out so you're gonna you might have to you know put a little pressure on the door to keep it closed while you seal the back Um, but that is basically it, and when you're done, you should be able to turn it on, and um, nothing special about uh, having to do anything else, and you're good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this uh, helps some people out and gets them prepared for upgrading their NPC lab.